Hey everybody, just wanted to do a quick video today showing you my uh, Star Trek D7 Klingon Battlecruiser. This is uh, one of the older kits from AMT. This one came in the collector tin. Picked this up at a hobby shop actually uh, about a year and a half ago. And putting it together was fairly easy. It's uh, it's, it's not perfect as in it's you know it's got a few issues you have to sand around and, and take care of. But uh, it's fairly easy to put together. And it's been sitting on my shelf primed for several months. And the reason being is I wanted to know what color scheme to use. I know it, it's not just one color and there's different uh, references. So I came across this chart on the internet somewhere. I forget where. But basically it's a three color scheme. So it's basically green dark gray, light gray, and then a few little uh, silver accents. So that's what I'm shooting for. Okay, I'll let you take a look at that. Because uh, it took me a while to find this. It took me a while to uh, basically figure out what I wanted to do, and, and I didn't want to I didn't want to go too crazy. Uh, I know I have a, I have the larger kit. I have the 1 through 50 scale one. That's the newer one. That one I am going to go crazy on, but uh, this one I, I just wanted to not just do one color, but I wanted to, you know, I wanted to make it look a little nice. So basically, yesterday I took the Tamiya green, and with this color scheme, basically the bottom of the ship and the nacelles are green. And so it's the, oh, this front part is basically the bottom part, and then this little section here. So just wanted to show you guys that. And, uh, I'll, I'll update you on the progress as I finish it. I don't know if I'll finish it today, but um, I'll uh, get a little more worked on it today. So there you have it. Um, color scheme, or at least color scheme I chose for my D7 Battlecruiser. Till next time.